Please welcome Michael Shermer. Why must things be debunked? Because there's a lot of bunk. There's a lot of nonsense, bad science, voodoo science, pathological science, non-science, and played on nonsense. It's all over the place. What, where's one of those probes from the uh, dashboard? I didn't say probes. Where's one of I the gadgets I said physical trace cases, multiple witnesses. It's no more mysterious, by the way, where you go after you die than where you were before you were born. Why does nobody get all fussed up about, well, where was I before I was born? How can you tell the difference between, you know, it's right or it's wrong? You know, how do you know? What happens is, is you... You arrive at beliefs for non-rational, non-smart reasons, and then you back into it after the fact with rational reasons to justify it. We call this the confirmation bias. Why would the aliens look like this? Well, that's, these, these are who bipedal. Drew that? Who drew they, that? Yeah, well, this comes from television. And that kind of error, that false positive, that's superstition. That's magical thinking. That's assuming A is connected to B. It's a true pattern, and it isn't, and you're wrong. Once that became the image of what aliens would look like, that's what people began to see in their dreams and their abduction experiences. The point here is you want to have a, a mind open enough to accept radical new ideas, but not so open that your brains fall out. The only way to tell, really, the difference between these true patterns and false patterns is science. Really? Yeah, really, yeah. Most of the universe is just stars. All they're doing is converting hydrogen into helium under great pressure and heat. That's it. They're not sitting there thinking, I gotta give Michael Shermer some purpose here because, you know, if, if I don't, he's, he's gonna kill himself or something. No. The application of science and reason to solving political problems, economic problems, social inequalities, and so on, we're using reason to solve those problems rather than the witch theory. Well, of course, students should be exposed to whatever the cutting edge ideas are. Um, and in science, that's what the best science is. And you have to be able to sell your ideas to other scientists in journals. You'd be, have to be barking mad to not think that the life is not, is not designed. It is designed, but it's designed from the bottom up by a natural process of evolution. What intelligent design offers is not a scientific explanation. It's just a statement that we can't figure out how to explain this through science, so let's just say an intelligence did it. But that doesn't explain but, anything. But that science is the best tool ever devised for understanding how the world works. The scientific method requires that we look for natural explanations for natural phenomena. There is no such thing as the supernatural or the paranormal. There's just the natural, the normal, and all the stuff we can't explain yet. And it's okay in science to just say, I don't know. In that case, it's okay to just call bullshit 